Today we're going to be taking a look at the re-terminal by Seed Studio, and we'll be setting up a weather dashboard using Grafana using data that has been recorded by an ESP32 microcontroller. The re-terminal is a compact HMR, or Human Machine Interface device, which is powered by a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. You can pick one up from Seed Studio's online store or from Amazon. I'll put links to them in the video description. It comes with a 4GB Wi-Fi variant of the compute module, running a quad-core Cortex-A72 CPU, and has 32 gigs of built-in eMMC storage. It also has a 5-inch capacitive touch display with four physical function buttons, dual-band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5, and has an accelerometer, light sensor, and real-time clock. In the box you get the re-terminal, a small pack of mounting screws and a small screwdriver. There aren't any manuals or data sheets in the box, but there is quite a lot of information available on their product page. Taking a look at the ports and interfaces, on the bottom we've got a quarter inch camera mount, and along the top you can see the large heatsink on the back for the CM4 module. There's also a wake button on the left which will turn the device on again after it has been shut down. On the left side we've got a USB-C port for power, a micro HDMI port, gigabit ethernet, two USB 2 ports and two M4 threaded mounting points. The front has a 5-inch touch display, 4 indicator LEDs and 4 function buttons. On the right side we've got a 40-pin GPIO header, which has the same pinout as the other Raspberry Pi boards, which is great for interfacing with sensors and expansion modules. We've also got another two M4 threaded mounting points. On the back of the re-terminal we've got a large heatsink and under this dust cover is a high-speed PCI Express Gen 2 lane. I'm not sure if the included screwdriver is meant to be used for the mounting screws or to open it up, but I'm going to use my own to open it up anyway and take a look at what's inside. One thing the re-terminal is not short of is mounting points. There are literally threaded mounting points on almost every side of the device, so you won't have any issues securely mounting it for a project. Removing the first cover and heatsink allows you to access the boot switch to reflash the operating system on the compute module's eMMC storage. Removing the second cover exposes all of the remaining electronics. The PAR4 compute module can easily be replaced if you like, but I think they've chosen a good variant to ship with the re-terminal. You might want to go with the 8GB variant if you're going to be multitasking, but that seems unlikely on a device like this. On the board some of the main features we've got are 15 and 22 pin camera ports, a 30 pin display port, micro SD card slot, a real time clock module with a backup battery, and a cryptographic coprocessor with hardware based key storage. All of the schematics are also available in their documentation. Let's close it back up and turn it on. The re-terminal comes with Raspberry Pi OS Buster pre-installed, so when you power it up the first time you'll need to go through the usual first boot setup process. It also comes preloaded with a re-terminal demo app. This app just shows off some of the basic functionality and use cases for the device. The touch display is really responsive and is quite accurate for its size. As I've mentioned in previous videos, Raspberry Pi OS itself isn't the greatest for a touch display, as the icons land up being really small and quite difficult to touch accurately. But if you're going to build your own dashboards and interfaces, which is the point of the re-terminal, then you'll be able to make them the appropriate size and they'll work well. Now let's get started setting up our Grafana weather dashboard. I'm going to use the ESP32 to collect temperature, humidity and pressure readings. These will then be posted to a time series database in InfluxDB. 
InfluxDB can be run locally on a Raspberry Pi or on their cloud server. We're going to be using their cloud server. We're then going to be using an analytics and visualization application called Grafana to display the information that has been stored in the database. Grafana can also be run locally on the Raspberry Pi or Reterminal in this case, or on their cloud server. We're going to be installing and running it locally on our Reterminal. You don't need to use a separate Pi for InfluxDB and Grafana. You could run them both locally on your Reterminal if you'd like to. I just don't want to have to leave the Reterminal running all the time in order to collect the data. To collect the weather data, we're going to use an ESP32 with a DHT11 sensor connected to it. This sensor will be connected to pin 4. I'm also going to use a BMP280 pressure sensor, and this will be connected to the I2C interface. I've written up an Arduino sketch based on the InfluxDB interfacing instructions. This reads in the sensor values and posts the data to InfluxDB every 30 seconds. If you set up your API token and bucket, the generated code on the interfacing instructions page will already contain the correct setup information, so you just need to copy it into your code. After a while we can see that the information is now available in our InfluxDB database. Next we're going to install Grafana by following the instructions outlined on their website for Debian. Now we just need to start Grafana and set it to restart on boot up. We can then access the Grafana web interface by opening up a new tab in our browser. We'll point it to localhost port 3000. We'll then need to configure it to read the data from InfluxDB by entering the server and authentication information. Once that is done we can start building our dashboard by creating panels. Each panel is essentially a graph, gauge or other graphic which uses a query to pull information from the database. You can then customize the appearance of each panel through a number of settings and optional plugins. I'm going to set up a gauge and historic trend for each of the three metrics. I'll also set each trend to display the minimum, maximum and mean or average value recorded for the time period. Grafana gives you a lot of options for building dashboards, and is a really powerful visualization tool for your data. Now it still looks like a web page from our re-terminal, so we need to get it to fill the complete screen. We set the browser to full screen mode, and then cycle the view mode in Grafana. Now let's just resize the panel so that they fit onto a single full screen display. And we've now completed our basic dashboard. If you've got a lot of data, it would be great to add multiple tabs to your dashboard and use the buttons on the re-terminal to cycle between them. If you guys would like me to go through the setup of InfluxDB and Grafana step by step, let me know in the comments section below. Also let me know what you think of the re-terminal and be sure to check out their product page. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.